Welcome back trainers! So in this video we're going to be taking a look at a raid challenge. Now back in the day there was something called the Venomoth challenge going up against an executor raid just using one Venomoth. Now I didn't really necessarily do this challenge, I don't know why I didn't partake, but the CP and the combat powers for these raids have changed so using one Venomoth now is not that difficult. So what could I do to up the ante? And that is going to be using Dust Docs here. We're going to compare them so you can see the differences and know exactly what is going on here. Possibly you could do this challenge as well. Now before I did initially think about the Dust Docs, I was like, you know what? I do have this Venonat. It is lucky. It is at a high level already. I don't have to use much Stardust. So I'm just going to go ahead and evolve this and get ready to go in because this Executor that we are going to be taking a look at it does have bullet seed and seed bomb the ideal move set to go up against you could even say you could have uh you know bullet seed as well as solar beam as long as you do the dodging correctly now taking a look at venomoth both of them are going to be a bug and poison type so there you go uh the max cp for the venomoth is going to be 2082 attack 179 defense 143 in stamina 172 taking a look at the dust ox much lower here. Its max CP is going to be at 1224 attack at a low 98. Defense a little bit higher than the Venomoth at 162 and then stamina lower than the Venomoth as well at 155. So the challenge is actually going to be here. Now what I ran up against was not the fact that I couldn't necessarily survive. It was the dodging. The moves that the Dust Ox does have are difficult to dodge the very spammy Exeggutor, even though it's going to be extremely resistant being a bug and poison. Now taking a look at the Venomoth to the left here, there is going to be one more move on it, the Legacy Poison Fang, but it just didn't fit on here. So uh, ideally you do want the Legacy on your Venomoth Bug Bite to do this challenge, but you could still do it with Infestation, no big deal. If you have two moves purchased, you may want to go with the Bug Buzz. Uh, and then for the silver win if you're in a pinch, if you need to get off a charge move extremely fast. Now specifically for my dust docks, I did have struggle bug and then I used bug buzz. I also have a secondary move purchased. It is going to be sludge bomb, but looking at it in hindsight, I probably should have TM'd it for silver wind. The reason being is that bug buzz is going to be doing a lot of damage to Exeggutor, but it's going to leave you vulnerable to take damage from the seed bomb or the charge move. Specifically in this case, the Seeds Bomb is going to be very spammy. Uh, you're going to be doing a lot of damage, so it will be gaining the uh, raid boss's energy at an extreme rate, so it will be spamming you continuously. So you may want to go with Bug Buzz and Silver Wind. If you don't want to purchase a secondary move, you know, and you don't have TMs, say you're on Silver Wind, give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then try out Bug Buzz. Personally, I went with Infestation and Bug Buzz on my Dust Dustox. Now hopping over here to Poke Battler, taking a look at the Executor raid itself and seeing what the top counters were. You do have Venomoth on the charts here at that 16 spot, but Dust Ox is nowhere to be seen on this list. I'm assuming it's just getting overrun by all of the amazing top counters that you could use, but it will still be in fact a good counter to go up against it. It's just not going to be ideal, especially it's not really something people are interested in powering up, especially with such a low CP. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the challenge, and you're going to see exactly what I was having to do to actually make this happen. It took me about a good maybe 20 minutes or so, and this is going to be my third attempt right here. We're going to take a look at the successor after this. Uh, this one would have been a success, but the game wanted to shadow hit me at the end, but we're going to just go through the... Um, the whole walkthrough here. So start it off. I don't need to dodge those quick moves in the beginning here. It's already spamming me with its charge moves. Now what's going to happen is when I do use this bug buzz, you will be able to get out of dodge if you time it just right. Now when exactly do you want to use your charge is when it uses its charge move. Uh, and if it spams you one after another and you're stuck in that bug buzz animation, you actually will in fact be able to dodge it. You just have to be very quick. I realized this after, you know, a good 15 minutes of being here. Uh, and then I was able to just nail it and uh, do this challenge here. So as you can see, I do have the sludge bomb that will work and it will be a lot faster. The animation time uh, and the cooldown for that is a lot quicker than the bug buzz. Uh, but it's still not going to be doing that much damage because Exeggutor itself is going to be grass and psychic, therefore four times weak to bugs, and that's why this challenge is so amazing. And then being a bug and poison type, I will be resisting those grass moves quite a bit, therefore enabling me to last a long time. So as you can see, uh, we did get into the yellow first, 
and I'm dodging a lot, right? I have to. I'm being very cautious. I'm being over cautious simply because I was getting those shadow hits. When this happens and you're sitting here at the raid and you're trying over and over again, and it's not necessarily your fault because you're not able to complete it, but in fact the raid that is broken, you become a little bit agitated and a bit paranoid as to, am I gonna get hit by a shadow hit? Am I gonna have to dodge this or that or this or that, right? So that's why I'm dodging everything. You'll see the last one here, uh, how much I'm gonna in fact be dodging. So we did pull it up, we got it into the red uh, and we, are ahead on our health and I'm gonna show you exactly what happened here and it shadow hits me now and we're gonna watch that in slow motion we're ahead and then it shadow hits me and at this point there's no coming back unfortunately I was a little bit annoyed at this point but you know what it is when you're out to set to do a specific goal specifically for me there's no backing down until the raid is over and not only the raid is over but the raids are gone I was gonna go and hunt another one not immediately after this I didn't have my heart set on it but invested all this time and I still wanted to give it a shot and bring this to you guys seeing that I didn't really do the Venomoth challenge back in the day and this one is a lot more challenging because of the lower attack and the overall performance on the dust docks in general so this is gonna be the successful one here and I'm also thinking about other bug type Pokemon that I can use to go up against this possibly a Butterfree we'll take a look at those at the end here to see what we have going on so I'm going to dodge everything. Hits me with the charge. And yeah, I'm over dodging, guys, because at this point, I do believe the raid is over. Uh, if I back out or anything like that, I lost my pass. I could go in there with a team of fires, just back out and just attack it like crazy and I'll complete it. But uh, that's no fun. So we're going to do this until the bitter end here. So we're just going to keep attacking with that infestation. Such a horrible quick move. It's so slow, leaves me vulnerable. Bug Buzz is a very strong move, uh, but it also leaves you vulnerable, especially when it's going up against a raid boss with a three charge barb move that is gonna spam you like crazy back to back. All right, so we're doing great this time. As you can see, we're way ahead. You're gonna see we're gonna make it get into the yellow and we're gonna be doing fine here. We're not gonna hit our charge and there's gonna be times where you see me with two bars on the bug buzz and I'm still gonna hold on to it. You're like, what, what, what are you doing? Because you have to wait for the perfect time. Otherwise, if you get impatient, it's going to hit you. And after that, it's just gonna be downhill. Patience is the key. Time is not the problem here. It's a matter of surviving and dodging all of the charge moves, right? So we're looking great. It did hit me with a, a seed bomb here and we hit it and it hits me with a seed bomb, but that's okay. Since we did, and the reason why that it's okay is because we were over cautious, dodging everything, making sure we had a ton of health. So if anything did go wrong, we were gonna be able to take one of those charge moves and continue on and not actually fail this challenge here. So we are looking great, hits that seed bomb. We're gonna go ahead and go for the charge move. I do believe he hits another seed bomb and we're able to dodge. You have to be extremely fast to do that. And this is why I say maybe Silver Wind would be a good idea. So when you're in a pinch here, you'll be able to get those off. I do believe the animation is a lot quicker than the bug buzz, leaving you less vulnerable out there. And it takes me out and I take it out. But did you see I had no other Pokemon in my party? So we did it. It literally fainted us out, but we fainted it out as well. So I urge you to go out there and give this a shot. Maybe you have one of these dust stocks lying around with a good IV, maybe a lucky one. Uh, now's the time to go ahead and power it up and give this a shot here. And you never know, in a future cup, you may want to use it in some sort of PvP tournament. And yes, Venomoth is going to probably be better in PvP in most cases, but it's always fun to have these off-pick Pokemon. And dust stocks, honestly, can perform fairly well in specific situations. I did power one up a long time ago. I do believe it was for the Twilight Cup. Um, didn't end up using it, put it on my team, but I just didn't really use it. So uh, it is a big investment. And if you are to power one up, make sure you have the best IV as possible because of such low CP, you need the most potential out of it, especially if you're gonna be using it for PVP. Now, taking a look at some of my other bugs here, I was brainstorming as to which Pokemon would be a challenge. I feel like a lot of these, you wouldn't want to completely max them out to complete some sort of harder challenge. Butterfree might be fun. I do have this legacy, beautiful Butterfree Bug Bite. And then of course I'll be using Signal Beam on it. Bug Bite is gonna be a lot easier to use because well, it's so quick and you will be able to dodge a lot easier. As far as the Signal Beam, it's not as long as the uh, Bug Buzz, I do believe. It does have a decent animation time, but it's not going to be leaving you as vulnerable, I do think. 
Uh, so we'll probably test that out in the future. Uh, and then we do have a couple Parasect. I do think that one of these is Legacy, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's, is it? I, I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. I just need to go check that. But I have a couple of these, including this lucky one here. Uh, so we are going to be a bug and grass type. Therefore, we will be resisting the grass moves quite a bit, just like the poison and bug types. And I don't want to use Scyther. I don't want to use Pinsir. Could we use this one here? That would be fun. I don't see this thing used for literally anything. So pulling it out and giving it a shot and giving it a little bit of a time to shine might be fun. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I used to do all the time, guys. Is it finally time to power up my 100? <laughs> it's so low, though. I don't know if I want to invest that dust, but I mean, look, it's 100, right? So why, why not? Maybe we can go in here with a powered up Yanma. That would be fun as well. I mean, this game feels like there's not much to do, but you can give yourself challenges left and right. It's just a matter of how creative you can get, right? I was also thinking about doing it with this, the shiny Caesar, the shiny shadow Caesar. Uh, but the only problem was I realized I was like, yeah, I'll power this up a little bit. I'm not gonna max it out because that's insane. It costs almost a million Stardust, but it has frustration. You can't TM frustration away. If I want a new move, it's 225,000 Stardust. <laughs> yep, nope. I'll tell you what, folks. If you can get this video to 3,000 likes, I will max out my shiny shadow, Caesar. That's right. I purchased a secondary move. 3,000 likes. Let's go, folks. Can we get it there? Yeah, that's a big number because that's a lot of Stardust to invest. All right. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please, well, give it a thumbs up and... I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.